here we are in Maricopa, Arizona, headed out to the water tanks to get water with the organization called Humane Borders. These are my fellow passengers over here. <laughs> Do you guys want to say your names? <laughs> Eric, Jose, Bob, And Norm. our driver over here. Norm. Okay, and this is Mandy. I don't know if you can see me here, yeah. but um, so it is, let's look at the clock to show how early it really is. Look at that. That's in the morning. This is not in the evening. This is 6.02 a.m. We actually left at 5.30. I think we were, yes. did pretty well on time. And um, it's about a three hour drive to Ajo, Arizona, and that's AJO, where we pick up our water truck. So, um, but it's a little bit bumpy. So I guess I will sign off until then or if something interesting happens. There's the border patrol. Nobody's concerned about the illegal Canadians. Yeah, nobody stopped us. They just waved us through. We're on our way towards Mexico. So on our way back, let's see the difference in uh, how we get treated and if anybody asks us any questions or anything. They'll ask us if we're citizens. They'll ask us if we're citizens and then that's it? Yeah, which usually the dog sniffs around the car to see if we got any dope. Okay. And Jose is going to speak to them in Spanish? Is that I will. I promise. We went to the desert to put water um, to humane borders. And we're doing that because they have in the spots where they have found people that has died. They actually they allow us to put these stations where we can put water for, for um, just like like a last um, used to help in this to people to not die in the desert. Really. Like it could be a religious thing, but in reality, I feel it's a duty as a human being to not allow the, all the people to die. Though um, the um, the humane borders a water service truck and it's got a nice big water tank. That's our water bottle right there um, that we've been using. And then here are the people that I'm with. We're waiting for the keys, the extra set of keys that go with this truck. One of our missions of our church is to support the Humane Borders mission, which is an adv advocacy for migrant rights as well as try to place water stations in the desert where there have been known deaths occur and to try to prevent people dying in the desert that, that are trying to cross to get a better life. The reason we're here is because the United States has a dysfunctional immigration policy that uh, does not allow people to come here to work, even temporarily, and uh, we advocate for that to change. And in the meantime, we're doing this as a, an effort to stop people from Dying. So I belong to a church that is committed to social justice and, and doing what we can to uh, meet needs that are in our community in a hopefully uh, meaningful and intelligent way. Our organization does this every week, every Saturday. We have a crew that comes down and services the water stations, collects any trash that we find. And makes a note of how much water usage there is. Okay, here we are filming the, uh, filling up of the truck. Right now, there's Norm on top of the truck. And he's got the, the pump right there. Some people, when they're crossing the desert, will bring a bicycle to carry gear or to ride on. And they don't usually last too long. The tires get, and get full of thorns, and uh, so they become abandoned, and uh, usually down at Organ Pipe National Monument. And, they, and the rangers there collect bikes and other, other debris and bring them up to the ranger station. So occasionally we will bring a trailer down and bring the bikes back. The last time I had about 70 bikes. Well, I found an organization that will refurbish what they can and, and donate those bikes to kids and to homeless people. We 
you'll sometimes find uh, children's strollers. Can't imagine trying to cross the desert with a, a toddler or a baby in a stroller, but some people do. I'm asking, have you ever found any people who have died in the desert? I know. Just like driving through there or horseback or how did horseback. you? horseback. Most I ever found one time was two, and then I assisted in the search for, I think, 14 of them. And did you find the 14? Yes, we did. And were they all alive? Uh, no, they lost a considerable amount of them. I think it was eight or ten of them. And what, it was just due to There heat? was actually 22 of the people in the party, but there was 14 of them that were in bad condition when they were found. And, and was it just from dehydration and the yeah. sun? It was from desert, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. And what, how did that make you feel when you saw those people who had died trying to cross over here? Well, I don't want to see anybody die. I look like a, maybe an 18 to 20 year old young boy and an older man, maybe in his 40s, 50s. According to the statistics, they're up. What I've been seeing, they are. I don't. We, I hear in the local newspaper here, they keep reporting about what about every week. No, Tony, there's. Yeah, yeah, about every week we we see something in the local newspaper about the border patrols found somebody dead on the desert or something. But I've heard that this year I think is on record on pace to be the highest. Yeah. 2010. So far, yeah. Over 200. I'm not sure the exact number. I cannot do that. seven months. I cannot believe it, man. He's crazy. I cannot do that. He's so strong. I hear you, Scott. Thank When you're moving 20 gallons of water, you can move fast too. Okay, because <laughs> you're moving pretty fast. <laughs> I can't even keep up. Bother you? They just are thirsty. Yeah. The bees are thirsty. Water. It's yeah. their water, not their hive. <laughs> And Norm is, doesn't seem to be afraid of the bees. Nor Eric. Eric, are you afraid of the bees? Not really. And why is that? Because they do sting. As Norm said, as long as you don't bother them, they won't bother you. Well, it means there were people here. Since last weekend, there were people here. Last week, they should have been full. Bungholes in just because the bees, the bees will sometimes get inside the barrel and we don't like that. Once again, I missed that. <laughs> good. It's like good. I mean, the camera was turned away, but I just turned it back towards. So nobody have, sees like, you. PR. You do have karmic PR. So we're feeding the jugs. Despite the bees, nobody seems to be afraid of bees, or nobody's showing it if they are afraid of bees. Terrified. <laughs> uh, I found a pair of blue jeans um, over or under the Palo Verde. What condition are they in? Pretty good, except for a little hole right there. And what do you plan to do with them? I have no idea. 
Hi, this is Mandy with ImmigrationConversation.com and I'm here in the uh, near Ajo, Arizona, but we're in the Sonoran Desert and we've just refilled these water bottles, water jugs with water for people out here in the desert so they don't die of thirst and we found a pair of blue jeans and these are the trash items that we found in here. Um, an instant soup in a plastic bag and there are a lot of bees around here. Uh, Norm was saying that he um, has never been stung by a bee here, somewhere else, but he's been doing this for about, I think, four years, and he's come and refilled these bottles, and he's never been stung by a bee. So that's pretty amazing. There's um, a flag up here, which is the, that shows that this is a water station, so people can come and, um, and uh, see that there's water here. So I am back at the truck because I think I got dehydrated. I was telling... Um, my fellow volunteer Paul here that I was just fine and he was like I think you need some water so he gave me some water and then I decided to walk back and get my own uh, trusty blue water bottle here and um, and then I just decided that I needed to sit here in the truck for a little while in the shade and the rest of the volunteers are filling up the rest of the water jugs I can't imagine how dehydrated they must be but I'm um, feeling like I just need to sit here. So this is definitely an interesting desert experience. If I was just out for, you know, 15 minutes or 20 minutes, like what, what's it like to be out here walking, you know, the entire length of the desert? Oh, I caught you on film. <laughs> I also have English education contrary to <laughs> But Norm, you don't have a gun rack on your truck, though. I don't have a truck. No, I don't. <laughs> Not a real What's one. up with that? Not a real Arizona, I guess. Hi! Hello, how are you? Hi. And you guys are citizens of which country? Uh, we're the United States, I believe. United States. United States. The United States. <laughs> Where are you guys coming from? Uh, uh, water, uh, humane borders. Okay, great. Huh? You guys have a good day. Take care. I didn't even get to answer. <laughs> I didn't even say anything. So you were supposed to say something in Spanish. I know. I know, what happened? Hey, that guy had an accent, though. <laughs> <laughs> he sounded with an accent though. <laughs> he did the whole Alabama thing. Oh. <laughs> Alabama? <laughs> 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 what did you say? Alabama. 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 Alabama.